so to get this badge go ahead to maps scroll down to forest and then close maps and quickly run over there now if you're in a private server and you do this relatively fast right when you start the server up you should be able to get to rosie before she despawns that's correct so we have to do is get there before she despawns if you're in a fresh server if not and you're in a public server then you have to wait either from 5 to 20 minutes i heard so yeah be very fast in the um, private server if you can so heading down this way stick to the left side because there's going to be a hole here go ahead down into it go into the cabin excuse my dog someone's at the door probably drop down the hatch and rosie is going to be there bump into her oh excuse me rosie i'm so sorry <laughs> Once you do, you'll get teleported to a very dark place. Simply walk forward because you're being chased by a giant face. When you see this green line, that means you are now approaching probably one of the hardest obbies. Not really. It's not really the hardest obby. But it is pretty difficult. The good thing is, if you die, then you will be spawned back. And once you see all the floating red particles, that means you spawn back in. Simply go forward again. Uh, that is what's chasing you behind us. Woo! All right. Oh my god, so we want to do then is go here to the left and just keep kind of shimmying through the invisible walls Uh, they don't kill you or anything, but once you do go up the stairs That is pretty much the hardest part of all of all this whole Badge, okay adventure, but what we do is going up these stairs is quite a bit of a walk A lot of this now is a lot of walking now. There is a part where you're gonna want to stay off to the right side where you see all the light you'll understand soon um i'm just gonna go ahead and oh wait we might begin to the end here ah never mind hey poggers so right here i suggest sticking to the right side okay just because you'll understand soon but i'm gonna go ahead and speed it up just a bit and once we get to the end i'll explain everything Alright, so what you gotta do is just keep walking forward. You're gonna be walking really slow now once you get into the dark area here. But then you're gonna see this giant figure, okay? Simply just go around it and then keep walking forward, sticking to the right side. I was wrong, you don't have to stick to the right side earlier. It's in the next part. It all looks the same to me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll see you guys in just a few seconds. Alright, so this is where you want to be to drop down. You see those faces? You're going to want to drop on down to the edge here. Woo! I almost missed that. Alright, and all you got to do now is walk straight. Hello, heads. You guys like my videos? Yeah, they do. They're like, yeah, ba baby. We love your videos, DG. Alright, anyways, so go ahead, walk forward until you get to the end. Uh, these guys just keep looking at you. Don't worry about it. I'll see you there in just a few seconds. All right, and obviously here we are all you got to keep doing is walk straight into Rosie Hello, Rosie. This is where her story begins once you get through and touch her you'll get kicked What have you done? I was just getting a badge So to get the badge click maps go to city close maps and head up this way through the subway station Once you exit head out into the city right over here 
and we're gonna go into this house right here or through this doorway once you do go through the vents right here teleport you into a whoop yeah i move a little bit before it teleports you away you have to move over here stepping on this thing and it will then teleport you this must be a gamer's room <laughs> oh then send you to rosie's lament once you do that walk out of the room heading over this way up the stairs and let it begin now what you gotta do is avoid those um floating heads on the ground uh gotta wait a little bit okay there we go boom and then so yeah essentially what you gotta do is this obby oh they love us Actually, i don't think those are hearts <laughs> did you <laughs> those are not hearts at all but gotta do this obby it's not really super hard more in the fact that it's just hard to really see in this place there's one spot that is hard though um what i also suggest maybe is putting your graphics to low because then you can see the blocks a little bit better like the bright neon colored ones um because if you have it all the way up it sort of all blends together and it gets really bright and you can't see anything so just go ahead and maybe give that a try if not you can do it without um turning down your graphics but here we go once you're here i suggest you zoom in and then get on this and keep your uh, mouse cursor in the middle okay once you've done that you can then undo that you gotta do a little jump around it it's weird it's not like a complete invisible wall you can kind of jump over the wall and i don't know how to explain it now this is the hard part you've got to get on the spinning thing and then as it's spinning you've got to get your way up to this you can land on the house or the building below you so you don't have to worry about that and then there we go this part is the next hardest part because you gotta get onto that hey poggers and once you finish that it is easy from here on out just walk forward bumping into the rows it will then teleport you to another location where you'll just keep oofing until a portal will show up beneath you you do have to make sure the portal is there because you will fall through the hole in the portal so you gotta pay attention um sometimes you might get lucky and while you're dead the portal will show up and it will then teleport your dead body to the next spot but anyways we're going to just sit here and uh wait for the portal as we die constantly Alright, so you saw that? So, what you gotta do is make sure you have to land on the portal. I wasn't paying attention. Don't text and bad chunt at the same time, kids. Alright, so once you land on the portal, on the ring of it, it will then teleport you to freedom! And I have to say, I am kind of terrified of this place. Look at that. Ugh. But yeah, here we go. Once you get here, head over to the um, Rosie rosie's hand i guess i think that's rosie i don't know who that is right there um i can't remember the full story i believe uh yeah if you don't like clowns <laughs> look away uh anyways you can go ahead and talk to them if you want there's a little uh text there anyways once you do simply step on this you can see that you get the badge it'll then teleport you back to the game and voila. All right, so to get this, we want to do is head over this way to the forest map. This is the one you want to go to, the green one. Once you're here, you're going to want to then go to the left. So, if you don't know which way the left is for you, if you see that cave, turn around and head down this way. I know it is hard to see, but a good way to follow along is on this pathway. Now, once you get to this point right here where you see the signs, go to the left side and follow the path. Now, there's different versions of lights you can use. You can use a lantern or a... a oop! <laughs> that's not a flashlight. That's a flashlight. All you have to do, though, is follow along until you get to this tunnel. All right. What we're going to do 
is go ahead through this tunnel and this part is where it gets a little tricky you're gonna see how like there's like a pathway sort of if you keep going forward you will be reset and pushed back to the start of this tunnel so what you want to do is follow along this path right here this part you're gonna have to like cut through because you can't get around that tree but again it's really easy you just have to go around the pathway like so and not leave the path okay go forward a little bit here and then go to our left and then run down the pathway again avoiding stepping out of the pathway until you get to the gates here then you can go forward and it will not matter because then you will get the badge you can go explore if you want anyways to get this badge we want to do is go to the forest map now you're gonna go between these two cabins right here and behind them is going to be a big bush in this though is a secret cave this is where you're gonna want to use your flashlight go ahead and go through this tunnel you're gonna bump into a fire right here go ahead step into it and you now get the burning skull now i know a lot of you probably already have this because it's not very a new badge it's actually been out for a while but they have added sad mouse dot avi so we want to do is head to country road so just getting out a lantern and heading down the road this way avoid getting hit by cars if you want it's up to you i suggest not getting hit by cars right here take a left going down this way um from the town i guess head to the stop sign right over here now it might be a little hard to see but there is a house over there a great way to get there in the dark is just follow these two big trees and then from here you should be able to see it now go on this side of the house where you see the tree and the car and go into this hole all right once you do that just go through this cave like so or tunnel and we're gonna keep going you might have to un oh no you don't have to unequip all right perfect once you're here jump into this room and there's gonna be a tv here now you're gonna have to wait for cartoon cat to come out from the tv <laughs> hi mickey mouse <laughs> Uh, that could take from 5 minutes to 10 minutes. Here is a picture of how it looks. This is what you want to do or what, what you want to touch once uh, it arrives. Alright, this is probably going to be the hardest one, I think, of all the rosy story badges. So to get started, go here to maps, then scroll down to the forest. Once you've done that, we're going to run this way down the pathway. I'm just going to go ahead and get my lantern out. And we're running over here now the way you run on the con on um pc is control button i don't know what it is on the mobile or tablets so it's not very important you don't need to be able to run so here we are at the sign go to the left side towards this tunnel okay whoops i didn't mean to do that now at this tunnel is going to then teleport us to the scp facility there we go once you're at the facility ooh, you gotta move pretty quickly i guess for uh so you don't get teleported back can i uh there we go all right <laughs> that was weird so here we go get out your scp level one card it is in your hot bar in your inventory it's right there number zero go ahead bump into the door and there we go then go down the stairs go to this door right here containment 1F. Now that you're here, what we're going to do is go all the way here, go up the stairs, then go up these stairs, and right in front of us, there's a security office. What we got to do is grab the level 2 card right over here on top of the, um, what are they called again? The, uh, lockers. It will be in your inventory, so just go ahead, replace your level 1 with the level 2. And then head outside. You don't need to have it equipped to exit. Go into North Wing 2F. Then run over to testing. This is where you'll need your SCP Level 2 card. Go ahead. Open up the door. Walk inside. You can talk to all of them if you want. But this is our big goal right here. This will teleport us to another place where the real, ooh, oh, the real pain begins. 
Some of you may have seen this, some of you may have not, but we have to do this obby. Now, there is a specific way to do this, actually. There's no, all right, maybe I'll go ahead and try it differently. You have to do it exactly the way I do it. So, right here, get onto this one. You do have a big moon jump. And then, what you're going to do next is then get onto this one. Simply just walk onto it. Oh, ooh, don't get caught on there. And I believe our next one, I can't remember if it's this. I think it is this one right here. Oh, no, I'm not going to make it. Oh, my God, I make it. Oh, <gasps> this first part is easy. Easy. I say that, and a lot of you are probably going to be like, I hate this game. Why do I play it? All right. Then we go into this portal right here which will then teleport us to another place now once you're here what you're gonna do is go over here and you'll see speak in your roblox chat type in all caps okay it's too late boom once you do that you gotta quickly move forward or then the invisible wall here will close off and then you bump into this which will teleport you to the next obby which is gonna be where it is difficult. This is, oh boy. This one's hard, guys. This one is hard. The reason why is there's a specific spot where you've got to then get on and off these rotating um, uh, platforms. And I can't remember exactly which spot it is. It's not this one. It's, it's really good. You'll see it when we get to it. And um, because it's when these platforms get just close enough to where you can almost just jump onto it or walk onto it. So it's not now. Uh, come on. Dude, this is probably the... Oh, my God. This one. I have the badge because I was afraid I'd just get too angry at it and just give up. But I already have the badge. But I won't be able to show you guys <clears throat> how to get it. Sorry if I, I'm doing like a lot of clearing my throat. The allergies are getting to me. All right, I think here it is. This is the spot. Oh, this is the spot. Here's the spot. And, oh, no, 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 no. Now, the plus side is if you die, you will spawn in this segment of the whole badge adventure. Okay? You don't have to go all the way back through it all. You just come right back here and keep trying and trying again. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. There we are. There's the money maker. And then jump over to this and go into the portal. You can talk to all these people if you want. You don't have to. It's not a necessary or requirement to get the badge. And then once you're here, just go ahead, step back onto this, move around a bit. Like I said, I already have the badge, but then you should get it. All right, so to get this from the spawn, head over this way to the map teleporters. You want to be going to the country roads map, the red one or the right map. Now, once you're here, looking at the bus stop, head over this way to the right, okay? And we're going to run down this way, and we're going to be going to a specific location. Now, just follow along. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's dark out, but to help you out, I'm going to do this, you know, walk you through it. I'm not going to speed it up. But right here, you're going to see a gas station. Go ahead, pass the gas station. So that means you're on the right track. Now, another good way to help you is just follow the light posts, okay? Now, this light post right here, the last one before, uh, oh, look, a car. <laughs> but right here, you want to take a right turn where you see a school bus. That means you are going the right way still, okay? Now, you may not be able to see it, but right here, there's going to be a flag, okay? That means... You are also on the right path. We are going to the school location. If you know where that is, great. If you don't, then just keep following me. Now, once you're here at the school, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is where we are going. Go ahead inside of the school, okay? All you have to do is simply go through the door. Once you're inside, go forward down this hallway over here past the trophies. And keep going past all these classrooms. Don't have to go inside of them. Once you're here, you're going to see the library to your right. Enter the library. And once you do, go to the back of it this way to the computer lab where all the computers are. Walk inside. Go to the back corner here. And you're going to see a Sonic.exe game. Go ahead, bump into it. It will then teleport you to another 
game right here we are go to the right i don't know why i'm still like what is going on with me i'm just a roblox character oh well anyways just keep running down this way to the right it could take a little while it's probably like a couple like 30 seconds at most oh no i didn't even notice that last time go ahead bump into the ring and you'll get the badge and then you get oofed by sonic now to get this badge what you want to do is go over here to the right side where you see the map and you want to click on the one right here that looks like buildings it will send you to the subway station and you want to go ahead and exit it once you do keep going forward down the road past the deli and going past china garden and you want to head to the garage okay now the first door right here onto your left is where you want to go walk inside um you might want to get out some form of light because it is kind of hard to see but head over here to the left side of the semi trucks hop over the boxes and you're gonna then want to step on that game boy right there that that old relic it will then teleport you to another location lavender town now what you're trying to do is avoid these purple dudes now there is going to be a hidden pathway so every now and then there's something that's gonna pulse and show you some platforms see those platforms that is where we are trying to walk on as we go through this so this is the building you want to stand on and then the platforms will appear and then boom voila um, I'm going to speed this up because it does take a while for the platforms to appear. So uh, go ahead and follow along. I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Alright, just ignore that part I fell. This part is relatively easy. Once you, it appears, there we go. You're going to drop down a bit. And then you can just jump towards this, bump into it, and it will then say disconnected. You were kicked from this experience. Go away. And you can tell you get the badge down there at the bottom. Congratulations. Alright, so to get this, we want to do is go over here where the maps are and click on the second one. This is the city map. Once you do, you're going to be in the subway, head up the stairs, and once you do, just keep going forward this way, down this road. Now, you're going to see a car here on your right. At that car, you're going to turn to your right and see an alleyway. You're going to run through this alleyway, and once you do, you're going to bump into an invisible wall here. Go ahead, bump into that, or bump into this door, this whole area. I don't know exactly what triggers the teleport to the hallway now this hallway is not super long but you are very 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 slow so i'm gonna go ahead and speed it up until we get to the end of the hallway where there is a door that you're gonna want to click on all right i'll see you in a few seconds here is the door that took me about two minutes in real life time so be ready now once you're at the door what you're gonna do is click on it and walk on through and once you do you're gonna see these beautiful pair of teeth and bump into it it will then give you the badge you just gotta wait for it there we go or not give you the badge but teleport you once it teleports you you're gonna be in this room once you're here, what you're going to do is go over to this corner where the lamp is, 
bump into it, and you are going to get the Henderson X Sond Files. All right, so to get this badge, what you want to do is go ahead and go over here. See where this it says map? You want to click on the tree one and then run down this way. Okay, ignore my running animation. It looks terrible. <laughs> All right, so once you're running, go ahead, stick to the right side, all right? And once you see the dock or the water, you want to head over there. So keep running down this pathway until you see the dock, okay? Once you get there, go ahead, stay to the left side of it and go into the water. Swim down and there is going to be a sword there, a rusty sword, I believe. Yes, bump into it. Actually, I don't even, oh yeah, it is a sword. Bump into it. You might have to swim around it a little bit. And then it will teleport you to the Yokai Realm. Now, this might take you a couple times. But it's okay. Because if you oof, then you can just keep trying. You don't have to um, come back and do all that running. Um, I suggest, though. See, see what I mean? There's... Ah, uh, no! No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Woo! All right. Just keep running. Don't turn around to look for him. Don't turn around. Just keep running. The bar at the bottom is your blinking. And I believe every time you blink, he gets closer to you. And I believe he is right behind me. So you just keep running until you get to this pink purple sword over there. Just keep running. Don't look back. Once you get here, jump and then get to the sword. Bump into it and you get it. Voila. All right. So to get this badge, go ahead and click on map. Once you do that, scroll to the forest map. Click on maps again to close it. Once you do, we're going to go on the pathway right here and follow it. Now, the way to sprint if you're on keyboard is the control button. It should be on your left side of your keyboard at the bottom left. If you don't know where that is, then uh, look up an image on Google on where the control button is. <laughs> Anyways. Head this way, and once you're at the split here at the road where you see this sign, go to your left, heading towards the dark tunnel. Yes, it's dark. It's scary. However, it is to our glorious and holy badge. So shall we go through? Yes, we shall. And here we are. We are at the SCP facility. Now, once you're here, you're going to notice, oh, I can't go in. Go ahead and equip the SCP level 1 card here in your hotbar. Simply bump into the door. You can unequip it if you want and walk inside and you'll get the badge. Alright, so I'm going to go as slow as possible but as direct as I can be. So, what you got to do is open up your maps. Scroll down to Country Roads, okay? Now, if you're wondering how to sprint, if you're on PC or keyboard, I mean, go ahead and click Control and hold it down. And you will start sprinting. If you're on phone, mobile, tablet, I don't know what the sprinting is. So I, I hope there's a button there for you. Because it will come in handy later on. But just head down Country Road. Excuse me, sir. This is a private road. You're not allowed to drive here. This belongs to me. Just kidding. Alright, so keep going all the way down. Until you see the barn and it should be over here off to your left you can kind of see it if not right here at this lamp post just go ahead to the left and head in this direction now we're going to go to the right side of the barn like so so if you're looking at the barn from the front go here to the right to this tree all right there should only be one tree right here for you to see then you're going to find a doorway right here. If it's closed, just go ahead and click it like that and bump into the back room wall. It will then teleport you to the back rooms. All right, so it's going to teleport you here. You can't zoom in or zoom out. You're stuck in first person. So if you want, you can go ahead and talk to this person, async employee. Looks like our home teleporter is busted and we're stuck here until async can figure out Oh, can figure something out. Although our sensors detect a strange anomaly somewhere around here that might help us get back home. Beware though, there are creatures that lurk in these rooms. <gasps> bum bum bum! Alright, there is a backroom monster though in here, so be aware. But what you want to do is go this way where you see the camera. And this is where it gets tricky because it's a maze. So, go ahead, go forward. 
go left and go all the way down this way and when you see this wall go to the left side of it and go all the way down to the back side of this area okay then look to your left you're gonna see a camera turn to your right and in this big room go over to this side where you see this corner wall go to the right then go all the way to the end of this room to this side then once you're here go to this side of the room look left and in this big room go over here to the darkest room the, this I guess the darkest area go to this side of it then go over to the left hug this side then go to your left again oh no nope, no nope. go to your right then go to your left and keep following the pathway there are no turns in here as you can see it's all just one way go past the right turn here just keep going keep going keep going keep running there's no turns once you're in this room go to your left you go see the arrow there go to that arrow and you are going to see the portal and it looks like the back room monster got stuck in the portal but go ahead, simply walk into the portal, and it should teleport you to the pool rooms. This, that was the hardest part. It should have been the hardest part. This next part, though, is going to be an obby. Alright, once you're here in the obby, what you're going to do is go to the left side. You can still sprint using control on your keyboard, and this is it. Now, this obby is not super hard, okay? It shouldn't be, at least. But go ahead. Go up and also if you fall in the water, you won't die. You just guys swim back to the edge and go back to climbing, okay? This whole spot should be possible without sprinting, okay? So you should be able to do all this without the sprint button. Just get to the top. Whoops. I fell. Make sure you also, you know, give yourself plenty of space to jump and make sure you jump onto the platforms. Some of these jumps can be a little far. There we go. Boom. Now, this next part is where it's tricky. You might want to figure out how to sprint for this because you've got to then sprint all the way over to this side. You might be able to jump onto that using a normal speed, but I'm not sure. So, right here, jump onto this, then onto that, then to the tube, jump onto this, woo, this, I guess, walkway. And then there's going to be more ledges here to jump on, like so. Boom. And then you can go ahead and talk to this person. Lotus! Oops! Looks like I messed up the teleport destination. He 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 he. You monster! Go ahead, bump into the teleporter. And we got one last place to go to the grassroom corridors. Alright, here we are, the grassroom corridors. Let's go ahead and talk to you. Lotus, wait, something is not right here. Something or someone is interfering. With my teleportation portals. Could it be async? The SCPF? Or could it be? Who could it be? Who knows? But this whole area is easy. You just gotta run all the way here to the end. And we recognize this face. And look, the eyeballs, they follow you. Oh, no. But all you gotta do is bump into this portal you were kicked from this experience stop no clipping and you can kind of see how something popped up at the corner that's the badge and there you go you got the backrooms badge that was an adventure